Welcome to your five days of dystopian Christmas stories with me, your truth detective, Stephanie Lee. A Christmas Wedding In the barren town of the once thriving community I used to live in stood a dilapidated chapel. I knew it well. Being the only chapel in town, many friends and family members were married there, and my family and I went to pray and worship there on Sundays. But now its walls were scarred by the ravages of time, and its stained glass windows were shattered, allowing the cold wind to whistle through the empty pews. I knew I had a sharp mind and a keen eye for detail, so perhaps it didn't surprise me to find myself drawn to this forgotten chapel off the beaten path. I had only stopped in town for a quick coffee before meeting up with friends for a secret Christmas lunch, but fate had other plans. As I approached the chapel, my detective instincts kicked in, and I scanned the surroundings, always vigilant for any signs of trouble. Little did I know that I was about to stumble upon a mystery that would warm my heart and challenge my perception of the world. Inside the chapel, amidst the ruins, a couple stood at the altar, exchanging their vows. It was a sight that defied logic and reason. In a world where legalized marriage had long been abolished, the apocalyptic events that had befallen the town, the country, and the world had left little room for hope or love, yet here they were, defying all odds. Christmas made it even more special. The white snow falling, the chilling and eerie silence, it was all so very surreal. All of this made me remember Christmases of my childhood. My curiosity was piqued. How could such a display of love and commitment even exist in a world consumed by darkness? In a society ruled by a people-hating regime dictatorship, trust was a rare commodity. This couple's unwavering faith in each other was a mystery I couldn't ignore. Driven by my never-ending thirst for truth, I delved deeper into the couple's story. I had to know more. I discovered that they were not alone in their defiance. Throughout the town, pockets of resistance had formed, seeking to preserve the values of a silent night, a holy night of Christmas. The people-hating regime had tried hard to eradicate any sign of Christian beliefs like Christmas. It quickly became obvious that these outliers, hidden in plain sight, fought to keep the Christmas hope alive, even in the face of overwhelming despair. As I uncovered and discovered the stories, I encountered a network of outliers who befriended me, each with their reasons for defying the people-hating regime. Some had lost loved ones in its strong, tyrannical hold, while others simply refused to let the darkness consume their souls. Together, we all worked in the spirit of the holiday, in the shadows, to protect the remnants of humanity's goodness. In my pursuit of the truth, I faced countless obstacles, as always seemed to be the case. I knew the regime's people-hating spies lurked around every corner threatening to expose me and the outliers. But we all pressed on, driven by a determination to uncover the truth and restore faith in a world that had lost its way. As the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, I realized that the couple's Christmas wedding was not just an act of defiance. It was a symbol of hope. Choosing to get married, which was in and of itself illegal by the government, and choosing to do it around a once greatly celebrated Christian holiday was a huge defiance, it too being illegal. These crimes might land them in jail for a long time. This was a big breakthrough. In a world where trust was scarce, their love stood as a beacon, reminding everyone that even in the darkest of times, goodness and kindness could prevail no matter what obstacles stood in their way. 
with their unwavering resolve and unyielding spirit i exposed the people-hating regime's corruption and rallied the outliers behind the cause of love and freedom the once barren town blossomed with renewed hope as the shackles of fear were shattered and the people dared to dream of a better future which included marriage and being able to choose any religion in the end my journey not only solved the mystery of the chapel wedding but also rekindled the flame of humanity's resilience around the holiday season well the world may have been scarred by an apocalypse-like event but through the power of love and unwavering determination of a rather seasoned detective like myself a new chapter began one where trust hope and the sanctity of marriage prevailed against all odds it truly was a christmas miracle that would last for years to come